Hello everyone, my name is Roger and you're watching the Minecraft Guide for Beginners tutorial series for new and returning players to Minecraft 1.16. We are here at the skeleton farm that we just did in the last episode, but you might not recognize it. Because I've been doing some work on it. We solved the danger issue. Now the skeletons can't shoot us. Unless we get like, you know, right up in here. But uh, as long as we stay back, it's all good. And uh, we have definitely been farming a lot as evidenced by our levels and all the, all the arrows, all the bone meal blocks. We even set up a little enchanting station down here, some anvils, a grindstone enchanting setup, some furnaces for smelting stuff, and those are both empty. Our loot catcher right here. So what we do is we take these two guys this guy and that guy and we get a little extra XP you know just by grinding the enchantments off them and then as an added bonus what we can do is we can take the metal stuff and we can smelt it down into iron and gold nuggets and then use that to create iron and gold ingots so it's kind of like a little bit of a really really slow crappy gold farm and iron farm here so I'm not really looking to this to provide a reliable source of iron and gold, but it's a bonus. I mean, we get it. All you gotta do is do a little smelting for it, and you have it. And my auto jump got turned back on, so let me go ahead and fix that real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead. We'll just go ahead and clear these skeletons out real quick. All right, let's go ahead and head back up. In today's episode, we are talking all about fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and run back up to the base and I will catch you guys after the jump. Okay, we are back at the main base storage facility now and we're gonna go over how to craft up a fishing rod. It's a very, it's a pretty simple recipe. We need some sticks, so we'll grab some of those. We need some string. And I wanna do two different rods so we can do uh, quite a bit of enchanting here. So let's go ahead and, and we see three sticks in a diagonal pattern with two strings dangling from the end of it. That creates us a fishing rod. So we're going to head do that. We're going to make two of them because we got some enchanting to do. So in addition to your standard unbreaking enchantment, we are also looking for lure and luck of the sea. Lure decreases the amount of time it takes to hook onto a fish. So you get catch your fish faster. Luck of the sea increases our chance of collecting treasure items. Now these treasure items could be enchanted books, enchanted fishing rods, all kinds of things that are super, super valuable. In fact, outside of villager trading and finding, mending in a loot chest, fishing is the only other way I know of to acquire a mending book. So this is why I'm very interested in pursuing fishing at this point because I would love to get a little bit of mending on my gear. And if we can fish it up, that'd be even fa more fantastic. So let's go ahead, let's drop, Ooh, we need some lapis. I almost forgot. I mean, I just did the enchanting episode two episodes ago. How am I forgetting basic lapis already? All right, so let's see. We have unbreaking three, which is definitely going to be important. So we'll put that on. And that was the only one we got. Okay, so now we have ugh, unbreaking, unbre unbreak, all the unbreaking. So we'll go ahead and we'll grind that back off. And Luck of the Sea 2, that's pretty good. So we have Unbreaking 3 and Luck of the Sea 2. That Unbreaking 3 is unfortunate because we already had Unbreaking 3 that we spent some levels on, but we can always just grind that off. And we're looking for some lure, would be nice. Unbreaking, ah. All right, let's try it. Luck of the Sea 2, identical. But we can take that. And we can upgrade our luck of the sea to three. And let's pop back upstairs real quick, make another fishing pole and see. Oh, we only have 16 levels, so. All right, so this is gonna be what it's gonna be for our enchantments. We will definitely, through the course of fishing, be upgrading this rod, there's no doubt about that. So let's take you guys down to the, one of the ponds outside, if it's safe. I know there's some mobs out milling around the outside. Uh, there's a skeleton over there and We'll just pop them like that. No creepers hiding around anywhere. Okay. So for the rules in 1.16 fishing have changed just a little bit. 
In order to catch treasure items, you have to be fishing in open water, which means that in the from the block your bobber lands in, there must be two blocks in both in all horizontal directions around your bobber of either air or water blocks only. And two layers below your bobber also need to be water or air. And two layers up, I believe two layers up and down. So like right there, the middle of that pond should work to catch treasure items. But if you're trying to do an AFK fishing farm based off the old trapdoor note block design, that's not going to work. Um, you can probably catch fish, but you're not going to catch any treasure items. Which, let's talk about AFK fishing for a little bit while we're waiting for a fish to bite. I used to be a big believer in AFK fish farms, and then I tried one out in the single player world, and I found that it was incredibly game breaking. I would set up an AFK fish farm, and I would walk away, I would come back, you know, eight hours later, I'd have 50 levels, I'd have four double chests full of enchanted books. I mean, it just really took any challenge out of acquiring early game resources completely out the window. We had a ton of food, we had a ton of enchanted books, mending like crazy. Because if an AFK fish farm is set up, if you have a mending fishing rod, you can fish indefinitely. Because you can take off all the other mending gear, and every fish you catch will repair your rod back to full. So, in 1.16 they changed the rules for catching treasure items so that AFK fish farms wouldn't work. Now there are designs out there on YouTube if you want to go and look. I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm not going to be doing it myself in this series because I don't want to take away major gameplay elements. I like finding a village and trading with villagers is going to be a big part of the game to acquire mending books and stuff and so well set up a villager breeder and uh, villager trading halls and all that stuff. And the AFK fish farm just kind of takes away the need for that. So we're going to do a little bit of fishing here and see what we catch. Uh, so far I've caught a puffer fish, a salmon, and a cod. So obviously catching fish by far is going to be the most common catch, but we will eventually get some treasure items if we keep fishing long enough. Because with full luck of the three, luck of the sea three enchantment on your rod, you have a 1.9% chance of catching a treasure item. So treasure is still fairly rare, but if you fish long enough, you will get treasure items. You will get enchanted books that will come with a variety of random enchants. Um, I've seen weird combinations too like sharpness 5 and loyalty 2 on the same book from fishing you know you can only I mean one enchant exclusive to swords and one enchant is exclusive to tridents so there's really no rhyme or reason to what enchants are on the books I've got enchanted bows, enchanted fishing rods, I've gotten water bottles I fished up empty bowls, lily pads there's just a lot of items you can get from fishing but the AFK fish farms takes a lot of the fun out of the game, so that's why I'm not going to be doing that in this series. So we're just going to go ahead and fish for a little bit more here, and then once we get our fishing spree done, I get some good treasure items, I'll bring you guys back in check it all out. Okay, so we've been fishing for a few more casts here, still getting nothing but fish. So just on the off chance that this is not considered open water, we're going to relocate, and uh, we're actually going to move to the site of a fishing uh, pond that I want to build out. Nice, a nice little fishing shack with some storage and some fishing rods set up in there. A little pier to stand on to fish. You know, something simple like that. So we have this, I found this little pond over next to this lava pit, you know. No coincidence. And look at all this open water we have out here. We have a, got a lot of open water. So I'm thinking like a nice little, nice little hut here with a pier coming all the way out here. To right about here. And then we can cast over out into there. And that's going to be all considered open water. Because that's going to be nice and deep. There's going to be a lot of water all around it, so we should meet the requirements for open water, so we should be able to catch treasure items, no issues. So I'm going to do a little bit of test fishing here, and then I just want to make sure I can catch one treasure item so I know it's going to work. And then later, later on in this episode, we will start working on building our little fishing hut and pier, and the goal is going to be to create a safe place to fish without fear of mob attacks. Or just a nice looking little hut with a pier that has a little bit of storage in it. Because you're going to get a lot of items like tropical fish and puffer fish, really? I mean, what are you going to do with the tropical fish? I have not found a single use yet for those tropical fish. If you know of a use for tropical fish, you can't eat them, you can't cook them, you can't release them into the water, but if you know of another use for the tropical fish that you get from fishing, please let me know in the comments down below. I found a use for puffer fish because you can make potions of water breathing. 
I believe that's Potion of Water Breathing. I would have to double check that to be absolute certain, but pretty sure that it is. I found uses for just about everything else. The bowls, obviously you can make stews and soups in. Um, the water bottles for brewing, obviously. Lily pads are good decorative blocks. Fish, cook and eat it. That's, pretty, that's a pretty obvious use case there. And then all the enchanted books and enchanted items, those all have uses. I think, I think we just got one of those tropical, yes, these guys. Huh. What can I do with those guys? Besides just throw them in the ground and let them despawn. If you have any ideas or, or know uh, anything about what I can use that item for, I would love to know because I hate just despawning stuff. It seems so wasteful to me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut here, I'm going to keep fishing, and I will bring you guys back in when we're ready to talk about other fishing topics in this Minecraft 1.16 fishing guide. Okay, we're back, and we've been fishing for a while, a couple hours, real time, uh, about three or four Minecraft days, I want to say. And we've got a few things, uh, we didn't get any enchanted books yet, but we did fish up another fishing rod that I merged into our current one to give us Lure 2 now. So now we have a little bit faster at catching on fish. We've also got a fished up a name tag, which is very, very helpful for when we went on to name tag mobs and NPCs and such. And that's going to be important when we start catching. Well, we've already caught two zombie villagers. I haven't told you guys that yet, but we have caught two zombie villagers. One needs a name tag. He's holding an object, so he won't despawn. But I feel a lot better if he had a name tag. And we just fished up a name tag here. So that's very fortunate. We got an empty bowl, bottle of water, Obviously lots of fish, puffer fish, which is going to be good for making potions of water breathing, a lily pad, a saddle, so we can go saddle up a horse and ride our horse to Old Town Road. I've stopped that, Rod, stop, you stop that right now. <laughs> go ahead and saddle up a horse and ride around our world, which is going to be a lot of fun. We fished up a couple pieces of leather stuff here, which is also part of fishing, and uh, we actually got two saddles. You know, some salmon, some fish. So. I think right now, I think we got a good handle on the fishing mechanics. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build ourselves just a nice little area. I'm thinking over here, we're going to build a little fisherman's hut. And up here, going out to right about here. And then we'll dig the rest of this lake down nice and deep to make it like a really good fishing hole. So let's go ahead and run back to base and situate our inventory and then... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this lava pit yet. I think I might just leave that be for now. And we can figure out what to do with that later. So I know right now for the pier we're going to need some logs and some uh, slabs. Because I kind of want to make it out of bottom slabs so mobs don't spawn on it. And then maybe use fencing for like a handrail. Or maybe I'll leave it open. Because growing up as a kid, all the piers I've ever been on didn't have any railings on. It was just, open, it was just a, an open edge, so... I don't know how I feel about rails on piers, but I see like in the cities, they have rails in their piers. I don't know why, I mean, come on people, you know there's an edge there. Be careful. <laughs> Alright, we'll take our arrow back just in case we need to use our bow for anything. We got a diamond axe there, uh, let's go down. I think we're gonna use spruce logs for the supports, and then oak planks for the decking. I think that's going to look pretty good there. Let's go ahead and let's make up just a bunch of slabs. I'm sure I'll use slabs for other projects. And then the stack of that good. And then let's go in here and uh, let's figure out how tall we want to make this pier. I, don't, I know I don't want to be right on ground level with it. I want to kind of go up so I might need some stairs too. Um, but let's see here. I think we're going to start at the end and work our way back towards the land. That might be... Ooh, I almost fell into a lava. <laughs> Gotta do something with that lava there. Okay, so I want the end of the pier to be like right about here. So let's get this down here and let's put... little pier we run up on and we can stand here and fish now 
I'm going to dig out the bottom of the lake, I think, off camera, because that's going to be rather on the boring side. So let's go ahead and let's work on the fisherman's hut next. It's, it's, it's very basic you know i will admit it's a super super basic little build but that's what i'm going for it's something just person who lives here just simply wants to wake up in the morning eat breakfast and then do this all day <laughs> that's like literally all they want in their life all right so that wraps up our episode for today i'm hoping you enjoyed learning all about minecraft fishing in this episode, we talked about how to craft and enchant fishing rods, what enchants you want to put on your fishing rods, and how to ensure that you have a good shot at getting treasure items. We also talked about the AFK Fish Farm legacy in Minecraft, and we built ourselves a nice little fisherman's hut and dock to fish from. So we have some nice places to fish, and we can enjoy our process of fishing by hand in Minecraft. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you also found it educational, entertaining, and informative. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me. Let me know you, you appreciate the episode. And uh, I need to stop casting while looking at my face. If you're new to the channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. I'm working my way to 1,000 subscribers. And every subscriber I get gets me one step closer. I appreciate you all so much. The ones that have subscribed already and the ones that will subscribe in the future. I also stream... Over on Twitch, you can hang out with me and chat with me live, ask me questions about Minecraft, and the link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. I hope to see you over there in the next live stream. And if, don't forget, there's also a playlist on my channel that goes through all the past episodes in this series, so if you just discovered this one and you missed the past episodes, feel free to go back and binge watch and get caught up. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.